Hello everybody, welcome back to the Crypto Realm. So this is reality right here, right? I've mentioned a few times in a few videos that like the banking institutions, they get fined all the time for fraud. Every year, they pay hundreds of millions of dollars, billions of dollars, and it's getting pretty crazy. Like, like they do it to their customers. So here's a little news about that. We got to start like letting that be known to the regular world that banks actually do commit crimes every year and get charged for it. So this is big news. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse says 3.7 billion Wells Fargo violation overshadowed by FTX. Yeah. Ripple Lab CEO Brad Garlinghouse says that most people are obsessing over recent debacles in the crypto industry while ignoring what's going on in the traditional finance world. Garlinghouse says that there is a widely disproportionate amount of attention directed at the collapse of crypto exchange FTX compared to banking giant Wells Fargo, which just paid $3.7 in fines for mismanaging customer funds. Wow, right? They use our funds against us, people. Take your money out of banks, take your money out of stocks, buy Bitcoin, hold it. They can't do nothing. The world is outraged by SBF and FTX's fraud. But when Wells Fargo mismanages billions in customer funds as well, it's barely a blip on the radar. Food for thought. Wells Fargo was charged by the Consumer Finance Protection Board with, with mismanaging funds relating to auto loans, mortgages, and deposit accounts. Wells Fargo's rinse-repeat cycle of violating the law has hammered, has harmed, sorry, has harmed millions of American families. The CFPB is ordering Wells Fargo to refund billions of dollars to consumers. Wow. Across the country, this is an important initial step for accountability and long-term reform for this repeat offender. They all do it all the time. On top of the big 10-figure fine, the CFPB also ordered Wells Fargo to stop charging, surprise, overdraft fees, uh, and make changes to certain aspects of its policies on auto loans. Yeah, man, these service fees, we pay them to hold our money, which they make billions of dollars off of. Think about it. The times, it's time to change. Garlinghouse has spoken out in the past about what he says is unreasonable scrutiny of the crypto industry. Earlier this week, he criticized U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission Chair Gary Gensler for his lack of foresight on the collapse of FTX and its former CEO, Sam Bakeman fried Yep, they were all talking buddy-buddy. The Ripple CEO said it was shameful that Gensler, who often lectures crypto firms on regulatory compliance, failed to see the FTX disaster coming despite having multiple personal meetings with Sam Bakeman fried It's ridiculous and frankly shameful that Chair Gensler was touting the SEC's enforcement actions as the, as the cop on the beat, yet met with Sam Bakeman fried multiple times but was caught completely flat-footed when the alleged fraud finally came to light. That's right. Also, Reggie Middleton created Veritasium. He was talking with the, the SEC and they were guiding him, and he was being cordial, right, with the SEC. And then as he started going out making deals, making plans for his Veritasium token, the SEC came in behind him and talked to all the people he talked to and told them to stay away and don't get involved. And then they came in and took everything from Reggie Middleton after. After he came in and talked to them. That's what they say, right? Come in and talk. And then boom, they just like snakes in the grass. They don't want to cooperate. They're trying to like stall this for as long as they can until pretty much the big boys want this to shift. And when it shifts, they're going to have like laws put in place for the big boys to run these things centralized. That's like the goal for them. So we have to fight. We have to be careful. Every day's a battle with these people and they're all liars. And we have to point them out and show that they're liars. Whenever they lie, whenever they get caught doing something, we have to point it out and let the world know. So these banks, they're pretty much crooks. They've been crooks from the very beginning. Government creates inflation. Too much money. The governments just keep printing it. Makes everything go up in value. It's just not right. Not the money up in value. The things we buy up in value. <laughs> so this is the crypto realm. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's break uh, the YouTube algorithm. Get this out there to the people. And uh, the more they know, the better, right? Play hard, trade smart.